Hi there, my name is Davey Watton and uh, I'm actually a professional fly fisherman and despite the fact you know I've pretty much fished around the world, oh, something like about 40 countries, I've decided to uh, make my permanent home here in Arkansas. Well you can tell I'm not from Arkansas, I'm actually from Wales in the United Kingdom. One of the main reasons why I chose to reside here in Arkansas is purely because of the natural resources that you have here in this state, which is far more so than most other states in the country, particularly where fishing and hunting is concerned. There's an amazing amount of public access. I think I would be correct in saying that the state of Arkansas has got more park systems than any other state in the nation. I believe something in excess of, oh, maybe about 125, something like that. Nevertheless, uh, we have here one of the most prestigious uh, trout fisheries in the United States, period, which is the White River system. It's an unbelievable resource, no question of a doubt about that. And I can tell you that, you know, the value of that to the economy here is something in excess of around $130 million a year. We also have here in Arkansas the largest national fish hatchery, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Hatchery, which was constructed after the dams were built purely to provide the resources of cold water species, i.e. trout, for the river systems, which after dams were built, destroyed the habitat, so to speak, for the smallmouth bass that primarily resided there. And it is actually the largest federal fish hatchery in the United States. Uh, produces something in the region of around total 1.8 uh, million trout of the four primary species, brown trout, rainbow trout, brook trout, and cutthroats. The White River really came to be more nationally and internationally known purely because it established, in fact, on three occasions, world record brown trout. Unfortunately, we lost that last year. It got the uh, oil fish of 41 pounds, seven ounces got caught up there in the uh, state of Michigan, which is not surprising because primarily those fish live in the lake itself and they got just gorged themselves on food. But nevertheless, I can assure you, we've got an awful lot of fish here that exceed 10 pounds, 20 and over 30 pounds. So there's always the opportunity to hook one of those fish. Whether you get it landed or not is another matter, but at least you know they're there. So you've got a chance before you even start. One other thing, you know, I might add about our fishery, and like I said, you know, I fished all over the world, oh, something like 46 different countries, uh, primarily for cold water species trout, but others also too. I know of no other trout fishery in the United States that generally speaking allows anglers that don't necessarily have high skill levels to catch large numbers of fish a day. It's certainly not unusual if I guide two clients out there that, you know, are fairly moderate skilled fly fishermen that catch 40, 50, 60 fish a day. The odds of you doing that out west are pretty remote to be honest about it. And like I said before, you have an unbelievable freedom of access here. To bring your own boat, take that out, launch it on the river, do a float, take it out. Obviously we're determined to some extent by generation. We have the dams, release water primarily for flood control, but also Southwest Power generate to make money from the, the power that they get from it. So there is fluctuations in water levels on the river. And that's something you have to be a little bit concerned about. But you know, pretty much if you, if you check on the systems, what, what's operating, what they're likely to re release at any point in time, it's a pretty safe system to, to uh, operate on. One of the main reasons that really attracted me to, to move to the state of Arkansas, well, let me just be a little bit more correct about that. One of my very close personal friends, Dave Whitlock, who is also an internationally known fly fish from North Repute, lived here in Arkansas. He just recently moved back to Oklahoma, where he was from originally, but that's beside the point. And for many years, you know, he had said to me, you've got to come down here and stay with us and fish on the White River system. Well, I did that about, oh, I think something like 20 years ago. And I have to say, I was kind of blown away. At that time, Dave took me over to the Norfolk River, which is a short four and a half mile section of tailwater that runs into the White River. And it, it was just unbelievable. And I got to thinking at that time, you know, given all the other places I'd been, I'm kind of getting on a little bit in age. That traveling kind of wears you out some. So I just got to thinking, well, you know what, one way or the other, I think I'm going to try to get myself down here to Arkansas. And at the time I was living in Chicago, I might add, well, there's, you know, that's like two different total wells, you know, concrete blocks out here and trees down there. I mean, what's that? What do you need? So uh, I eventually did that uh, just over 12 years ago. Bought myself a nice property down here, got a good amount of acreage, which just did not cost a fortune and essentially established my uh, American International Schools of Fly Fishing, which I had prior to that, my outfitter and my guide service, 
And we do a lot of other activities too. I founded and I'm um, the president of the Norfolk National Fish Hatchery Friends Group. And that also actually is the largest friends group that support and advocate for a national fish hatchery in the United States. A wonderful organization. We've just recently undertaken and pretty much established and finished a massive product up there on the Dry Run Creek, which is a, a, a short section of water adjacent to the hatchery, which is primarily reserved for our kids and our um, disabled persons. It was a little bit unsatisfactory so far as them being able to access that, so we, we funded from different sources of grants and, and membership dues and people that donated funds to us it's sufficient funds to build a boardwalk that allows easy access for, for people that are mobility impaired and I think that's just a wonderful, uh, uh, shall we say, added factor that we have here for people that can use that resource. Um, I travel still around the country uh, giving lectures and demonstrations related to fly fishing and of course naturally I always encourage people to come here and fish on the White River and interestingly enough I can name probably six or at least seven persons that were previously customers of mine here that now have moved and live in the Mountain Home area and purely they came here because of the resources of the fishing that we have here in the state. As I previously mentioned to you, you know the state offers a tremendous amount of resource for the public at national parks. Uh, Buffalo National River incidentally, which is a beautiful river, I, and I forgot to mention that, it was the first national river in the United States. Primarily a smallmouth uh, resource, but nevertheless, thousands of people every year come here and they rent canoes up there and they float that river, and it's just a wonderful thing to do. It's, it's an, a lovely natural resource. We have a lot of other uh, activities here that uh, people that visit us and all reside here can also go and enjoy. Uh, visitor centers, we have the Gaston's Visitor Center which is up there by Bull Shoals Dam and we have also a visitor center over there at the National Fish Hatchery. Ideally what we're looking for is some funding from uh, up there in DC that allow us to build a purpose-built uh, facility but we're looking at something region five six million dollars. We'll get that eventually but nevertheless if you go to the fish hatchery, you will certainly enjoy that day out because you can learn a lot of educational things there from the visitor center that's there. Learn about the history of the hatchery, how it was established, what the US Fish and Wildlife themselves do. And you can go into what we call the hatchery room. You can see the stages of when we get the eggs and the little, little fish fries and how they grow up and how the whole process that takes place there before the fish are actually transported and stocked into the river system. Well, if you should have an interest to uh, want to learn how to fly fish and you'd like a guide trip, well, my services are available. Uh, my website is uh, www.davywatton.com. That's D-A-V-Y-W-O-T-T-O-N. My telephone number is 870-453-2195. And I look forward to seeing you sometime on the river here in Arkansas.